Hmm. Well, hello. Trouble sleeping? Oh, no. Shh. Don't speak, sweetness. You are having a bad dream. But it's okay. I'm here. Oh, can't you move? That's too bad. It's probably because I'm sitting on your chest. No, hold still. Don't struggle. It tickles. Ah, ah, ah. No screaming. I don't want to have to smother you. But I will. To keep you quiet. Oh, don't you know me? I thought for sure you did. How disappointing. Well, my lovely, since you ask, I'm the mayor. You have heard of me. What nonsense. That's just bad PR, really. I'm not as bad as all that. Rumors of my wickedness are greatly exaggerated. I mean, I suppose I'm technically a sleep demon, but I can't help what I am. Well, when you put it like that, I was the one giving you that nightmare you just woke up from, and I suppose I am the one sitting on you so that you can barely breathe. But you're not innocent in this, my sweet. Oh, no. Not at all. You were the one who left your keyholes open for just anyone to come through. You were the one who didn't turn your shoes around last night before going to sleep. You didn't even get into bed backwards. How foolish. You knew about me and yet took no precautions at all. You might as well have sent me an engraved invitation. So here I am, practically dragged here by your complete lack of effort in protecting yourself. It's like placing a tray of delicacies in front of a starving man. How could anyone resist? Oh, my love, I won't hurt you. Not in any way that matters. You see, there are plenty of stories told about me and those like me. How we sneak into your homes and sit on your chest and weave bad dreams into your subconscious minds while you sleep. But in all those stories, did you ever notice what was missing? The motive. Why on earth would we steal into your rooms and disturb your peace? What's in it? For us. Well, yes, it's what we're made to do, but our hearts just wouldn't be in it if there were nothing to be gained. So, what do you think we get? As I sit here, looking down into your wide, fearful eyes, slowly crushing the air from your lungs, guiding your dreams into dark, terrifying places, what do I receive for my efforts? other than the delight of watching your misery. Actually, there are two answers. The first is straightforward. I draw power from your fear. The more disturbed your sleep, the stronger I become. So that alone is often enough for a mare to be diligent in her work. But I'm what you might call an overachiever. I have a second reason to do what I do. And it starts when I wake the human, as I've done with you tonight. Now that you're back from slumber and quite unable to resist my charming personality, we can bargain. You need only listen. So here's the deal. Just as I have the power to make your dreams terrifying, I can also make them Pleasant. I can weave dreams for you that are so comforting that you may never want to wake up. I can build your every 
fantasy for you and your subconscious. So each time you drift off, you're in, quite literally, the land of your dreams. You can explore all the amazing things you always wanted to try, without fear of harm or failure. And because it's all dreams, you can even sever the bonds of physics or exceed your biological capacity. Want to fly with eagles? Swim with the merpeople? Bend fire with your hands? All of that is possible. And more. And I can make it last for the rest of your life on this earth. Every night. Until you shuffle off this mortal coil. Every night. Never a bad dream again. Never waking to find me or any other sleep demon perched on your chest feeding off your fear. You would be safe under my protection. Think of how peaceful that sounds. Isn't that something anyone would wish for? Well, now, of course there's a price. Nothing is free in this world. How clever of you to recognize that. Yes, this lifetime of beautiful dreams does cost a little something. But I think it's a more than fair trade. I suspect you'll agree. The price of my very generous offer is simple. Ten years of your life. I most definitely do not jest. You will leave this earth ten years earlier than you otherwise would have. And I will take those years for myself. That's the price. Oh, no, no, do not dismiss me out of hand. It certainly sounds like a lot to give up, but think of it this way. I would take those ten years from the end of your life. The time when you've already grown old, past the point of starting a family or going on adventures. Those years are often the ones that contain the most suffering for you humans. The most loneliness. The most physical discomfort. The most misery. You're young. Those years are far, far away from you. Would they even be missed? Do you not think that ten years at the end of your life are a more than fair trade for decades of perfect sleep and fantasies come to life in the night? Be reasonable. I can see you're considering my offer. You know what a deal this is deep down. You know you'd be crazy to let it pass you by. Me? Oh, you don't need to know that. Let's just say your years are precious to me. Far more so than they are to you, I suspect. Especially considering what you stand to gain in return. Oh, but one word of caution. Some of those who have accepted my offer have found their dreams to be so pleasant they don't want to wake up. Some of them have been known to neglect their daily lives, turn their backs on their responsibilities, even drug themselves for longer sleep. You'll have to promise me you wouldn't do something like that, no matter how much you enjoy the dream worlds I paint for you. You don't want to fall victim to an addiction. And you don't want the last ten years of your life to come sooner than the natural order would dictate. Simply put, promise you won't sleep your existence away, my sweet. Enjoy what I give you, but in moderation. Do you understand? Excellent. So, do we have a deal? The best dreams I can conjure every night until the end of your life in exchange for ten little years. I don't know why you're hesitating. Think of all the night terrors that have haunted you in the past. Think of how it feels right now as I literally take your breath away. Think of the comfort of knowing that every sleep you have for the rest of your earthly existence will be absolutely wonderful. That every dream will be a fantasy made flesh, at least within your subconscious. And all it costs is your worst years, your final years, in the distant future. There should be no hesitation at all. This is more than a deal. This is a gift. Don't you deserve it? Don't we both deserve it? 
Hmm. How long do you think this offer is open? I don't have forever to wait for you to decide. On top of that, consider the possibilities should you say no to my generous bargain. I'm ever so gently crushing you, bit by bit, and I hold the power to defile your sleep with my warm little hands. I can ensure you never get a night's rest again. Or worse, I could ensure that the next time you sleep, you won't wake up. Who said anything about killing you? That would be overstepping my bounds. No, I was thinking more of the endless sleep, of a coma. You could be trapped in your subconscious with every monster I can think of. And you'll have no means of escape. No way to wake yourself. You'd be lost to the world and punished inside your own mind until you finally succumb to death dozens of years from now. Doesn't that sound less than pleasant? Now, I'm not saying any of that would happen if you refuse my offer. Not at all. I am nothing if not fair. You're free to make your own decision. I'm just pointing out the options a sleep demon has at her disposal for those she takes a dislike to. Right now, I like you. I truly hope that doesn't change. Aw. It's almost adorable how you think you can negotiate. You are just delicious, sweetness. Hmm. I suppose, since I am such a good sport, that I can give you until tomorrow night to make your decision. I'll allow that such an offer might take a bit of time to consider. Fine. I'll be back this time tomorrow for your answer. But heed this. Do not think to stop me from entering, or to trick me in any way. I'm far older and more experienced than you. I do not take kindly to those who try to challenge me. Your best course, now and always, is to accept this deal and allow me to tailor the best possible dreams for you for the rest of your life. I can craft some imaginative fantasies. All right then, lovely. Think on it. Take the daylight hours and ponder what's been offered to you. And when I return, you can give me your answer. And we can start a most beneficial partnership. I look forward to seeing you again. Goodbye. <laughs>